In this episode of Throttle Out, we're giving this JL an all-around upgrade. So in the shop today, we have a beautiful Mojito Green JL, and as you can tell, it is completely stock. Now, it's not going to stay stock for long because, as I told you guys, we're doing a complete overhaul with a list of hand-picked parts that's going to create a very functional and stylish build. Now, this is going to get a mild lift for some larger wheels and tires. It's going to get some armor for protection, some very functional lighting, and we're even going to ditch that bulky hardtop for something a little bit more flexible. So enough for me. Let's jump into the build. So the first mod of this build is going to be the Mopar 2-inch lift kit with front lower control arms as well as Fox Monotube shocks. Now this is going to have a number of key benefits and a lot of those benefits are things that I really like to see out of lift kits in general. So first off, you're getting that added height, you're getting that two extra inches inside that wheel well for better articulation off-road and some larger wheels and tires, which is exactly what we're going to do in a minute, but it's still going to be a pretty mild lift kit. So this Jeep is mainly going to see the road, but we also want to make sure that it's ready to conquer any trails when it needs to, and that's exactly what this lift kit is going to accomplish. So on the note of being pretty mild, I like the fact that they paired these monotube box shocks with this two inch lift kit because they're right in the middle as far as shocks go. So these are going to be a big step up from those factory twin tubes as far as performance goes, but it's not over the top as far as a reservoir or a piggyback shock would be. So these are going to have a large two and a half inch aluminum shock body, which is going to be able to take a hit off road, but it's also going to do a lot better job of heat dispersion and working a lot more efficiently than the factory twin tube shock. So this is going to ensure a longer lifespan out of these shocks and reduce shock fade over time. So this kit is also going to come with front lower control arms, which is something else that I really like to see out of lift kits like this. Now that's going to roll the axle back. You're going to correct some of those caster angles. So you're not going to get any weird driving characteristics after you bolt this up. So not only are you getting those front lower control arms to accommodate for some of that extra height, you're also getting some odds and ends to make sure that this is bolted up correctly and getting you driving down the road. So overall, I think this is a really solid lift kit for what we're looking to accomplish out of this build. So let's head to our next step and bolt up our wheels and tires. So the wheels and tires that we chose to bolt up with this setup are going to be the Falcon Wild Peak 33-inch all-terrain tire paired with the Mammoth D-Window 17 by 9 inch wheels. And there are three big things that I really like about this setup. So first of all, the tire size is going to be perfect for our application. It's going to leave a lot of room in that wheel well for up travel, but it's still going to be moderate and pretty mild, which is perfect for our lift kit and exactly what we're looking to do. Like I told you guys we're looking to keep this mainly on the street but we want to make sure it's off-road ready and that's exactly what we have going on here. Now we could pair a 35 inch tire with this however it's not going to leave us a ton of room for up travel but like I said this is perfect for our setup and for our build. So not only is this going to be very functional for what we need it for it's also going to look very aggressive and that's the second thing that I really like about this. This is a very aggressive all-terrain tire and that's going to be a perfect middle ground for what our our build is centered around. So this is going to have pretty aggressive lugs on the top for an all-terrain tire. It's also going to have a pretty aggressive sidewall. So if we go off-road, this is going to give us a ton of traction and kind of act like a mud terrain tire. And when we air down, that sidewall is going to really help us out for traction and we're looking to crawl over obstacles. Now this is still going to have all the characteristics that you would need out of an all-terrain tire. It's going to have very even tread life, but it's also going to stay pretty quiet on the road and even though these wheels are pretty simple they are going to look very sleek mounted up to the side of our jeep now the last thing that i really like about this setup and about this combination is that wheels and tires can be pretty expensive but this setup here is going to be pretty affordable for a wheel and tire setup and that's going to leave us a little bit of wiggle room in our budget for a lot of extra mods so that's exactly what we're going to do next so let's go bolt up some armor So I just finished up mounting up all of our armor and like I said, this is going to touch all corners of our Wrangler and provide us with the function, protection and style that we're looking to achieve in this build. 
Now starting off with the rear bumper, this is the Barricade HD Extreme Rear Bumper, and this is going to have a number of different standard benefits, but what I really like about this is that it's gonna leave us room in the future to grow if we want to upgrade anything else. So those standard benefits are gonna be your D-ring mounts. You're also going to get a hitch receiver with this. So if you wanna mount up any hitch mounted accessories, if you're looking to use it as a recovery point, or if you want to tow anything small, that is there for you to use. Now, what I do really like about this is the opportunity to grow. So we mounted up that 33 inch tire and this rear bumper is going to accommodate that extra diameter perfectly. However, if we do want to mount up a 35, it might be a little tight, but we can always add that tire carrier because there is an attachment point covered up with that block off plate. Now, if we move around the side, this is going to be our next piece of armor and it's the Mopar fuel door. Now, this is not going to be crazy protection, but it is going to replace that trim that can wear and fade over time. And this is gonna give it a more aggressive look and I think it really complements this bright green mojito color. Now, if we keep moving forward, we do have another piece of armor and it's gonna be the Mopar door sill guards. Now, these are going to provide a little bit of protection when you get in and out of your Jeep so you're not scratching up the body of your Wrangler, but it's also gonna provide a little bit of style, still give it that contrast with that honeycomb print on the top. Now, if we keep moving forward, this is going to provide you way more protection and traction than those door sills, and this is the Red Rock 4x4 side armor with step pads. So this is, like I said, going to provide you easy access in and out of your Jeep on a daily basis. It's really gonna help us out with any roof access if we plan to mount up a roof rack, and it even has a bunch of traction with that large step there. But not only is it gonna provide us just that easy access for everyday living, it's also gonna provide us that protection that we need if we go out on the trail. So the rocker area is one of the most vulnerable areas on your Jeep. And this is gonna provide full wheel-to-wheel -wheel protection and also a lot of style. This is gonna be made of a steel material, so if we ever come down on a rock or a stump out on the trail, we are completely protected underneath with that dual tube. Now this also comes out a little bit on the side, which is perfect if we have any side hits on the trail. It's gonna protect the side of our body of our Jeep. But on our day to day, if you're in the parking lot and somebody opens their door, this is going to protect your body from a door ding. So our last piece of armor is something that I really like to see on a Jeep. It's just like that rear bumper with all of those standard benefits, but room to grow. So this is the Red Rock 4x4 stubby front bumper with LED lights and a stinger. So like I said, it's gonna come with all of those standard benefits. It's gonna add two more recovery points on the front, which is perfect for our weekend warrior here. And it's also gonna provide us some protection while keeping a lot of room open on the sides for larger wheels and tires. Now this is perfect for a 33 inch tire, but if we want to move up in the future, it still leaves us a lot of room for better approach angles than our factory front bumper was able to give us. You're also getting that stinger up front for some extra style and grill protection. And like I said before, you're also getting some room to grow, so you can add a winch on the front because there is a fully capable winch plate with a fair lead mount. So what I really like about this front bumper is the fact that there are lights already pre-installed. A lot of stubby front bumpers don't come with extra lighting because it is a smaller front bumper. So that's gonna help us out with visibility on dark trails and it's gonna complement any other lighting that you mount up to your Jeep, which that leads us into our next mod. So let's get to it. So like I mentioned before, the front bumper lights are gonna work hand in hand with our next mod, and that's gonna be the Raxium three inch LED cube lights with the Mopar A-pillar mounting brackets. Now these are going to offer you a number of key benefits out of the actual light with the four high intensity LEDs per light, and they're also gonna be very durable as well. They're gonna have a polycarbonate lens, an aluminum housing, so if we go off road and take a branch to our light, they are gonna be okay. And they also have an above average IP60 eight dust and waterproof rating. So if this Jeep is sitting out in the rain for a while, the lights are going to be A-OK. -okay. So not only are these gonna offer you the key benefits of the actual light, but the placement is very important as well. So since they are more of a spotlight, these are going to shine far down the road, assisting those fog lights on your front bumper, but they're not gonna have a wide enough spread to bounce any light off the hood and interfere with your visibility. And these are also gonna be very easy to operate considering we 
mounted up the Mopar auxiliary switch panel inside of our cab area. Now that's gonna be very convenient to the driver and the passenger, and it's also gonna mesh incredibly well with the interior and look like it came out of the factory. So enough about these lights, we have one more big mod to do, so let's get to it. So for our last mod, like I told you guys, we were ditching that big and bulky hardtop for something a little bit more functional and flexible. Now the hardtop is perfect for those winter months for all of its key benefits, but in the summer we want something that's going to be a little bit easier to handle and look a little bit better and be a little bit more functional. So this is the Best Top Trek Top NX in black diamond and it's going to do all of that. Now speaking of taking it off, instead of those bulky freedom panels that you would have to take off in store, this is going to have a very easy Sunrider feature that is fully cable assisted. So all you have to do is unhook two latches and you have all of that open air driving experience up in that front cab area. Now, if you follow me around the side, that's also gonna be the same thing for the back windows. Now, if you wanna keep these windows on, it's gonna be perfect for insulation with the DOT approved tint and also for style, especially with that fastback look. But these are also very easy to take off. All you have to do is unzip two zippers and you can completely transform this into an open bikini top instead of that fast factory soft top or that factory hard top that would leave this back area covered. So not only is this going to be very functional and very easy to use for that daily driver and that weekend warrior, which is exactly what we're doing here, this is also going to be made with factory quality with this black diamond material. It's going to last a long time and it's going to look good while doing it. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Throttle Out. Make sure you drop a comment below, tell me what you liked and what you would add to this build. And make sure you like and subscribe for more cool builds and content like this and all of our product installs and product videos right here at extremeterrain.com.